everybody, this is K Hoops, and this is not Rift Wizard. Uh, this is Path of Acra or Path of Atra, um, or maybe it's uh, pronounced something different entirely. So I, this game started in early access, I believe, last May. Should be coming out of early access this May. I played it for about 20-25 hours when it first launched and then didn't touch it for months and was just kind of waiting for it to come out of early access um but i was in the mood for it i did a run yesterday which resulted in a win um but i kind of want to refine that run try it again um so if you haven't played this game before um i can almost guarantee you would like it if you've been watching my rift wizard videos um the developer for this game uh, has stated that Rift Wizard was kind of a reference point for some of the initial ideas. Um, where Rift Wizard, um, the the turn to turn moments are are pretty vital most of the time. Um, that is not really the case with this game. Um, this game is much more focused on on the build, and you have this interaction of your your character. Um, and then their class and like the the god that they interact with. So there's and there's been a lot added since I was playing it previously. So I have, honestly have no idea what most of this does. And my uh, my skill level is much lower than when I'd been playing it months ago. Uh, so yesterday I was an ape, a fur denizen of the deep forest, and secret mountain caves prefers nakedness, fights with primal strength. So I did a run yesterday where I used no gear and no weapons. I'm going to try to do that again. Um, and I am sure there is a better um, potential class for, um, to go with it. But I did choose the Assassin last time, which gives a 20% chance to deal 200% physical damage. Um, and I'm just going to stick with that again. It seemed to work. And... Hadad is the god that I am most familiar with and used last time, and it worked. There's got to be something that synergizes more easily, but um, I'm going to just pick these three again and hope and be a little more prudent with my, my skill selections. So, um, also, like a huge thing that sets this game apart from Rift Wizard is this game like really cares about kind of like the flavor aspect where Rift Wizard has very minimal flavor text. Um, this is like generated poetry, um, like descriptions of the classes and characters and gods where it has like it's really its own internal mythos and you know and it's just got just such a cool vibe. Like I love the pixel art, I love the music. It's just such a fun world to be in. Uh, but yeah, don't expect any high-level play from me right now. So, oh, pilgrim in the trench of slaughter, heed when all nations preside, none preside. This is history extinction. The lone administrator until a cowled shape, formlessness embodied, raises his hand. He raises his glimmering hand. Oh, Akra, Atra, I don't know. Yek, oh, sacred flood, oh, change rippling earth, doom, sea, exhortations, fragment. All right. Um... I'm gonna lean like hard into dexterity uh, for this build. Um, so we start with um, plus 10 points for skills. Uh, so I need to decide kind of what to start with. Um, I'm going to start with um, pugilism or pugilism. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Don't judge me. Um, but this is going to allow me to um, kind of do extra hits if I'm not armed which I don't know if I can unarm right now since I might be in combat. Let's check if I can, because if I can't, it's not worth getting that for this fight. Um, nope, enemies are at hand. Okay, so let's let's not pick that up right away. Uh, let's pick up Pyrokinesis. And let's pick up, because I want a way to heal, because I'm not planning on using minions, so I'm going to be potentially taking a lot of damage. Uh, when I deal fire damage, this is going to apply stacks of Scorch and Healing. 
Uh, so kind of the name of this game is just to create just the most extreme synergy you can to just be this badass barbarian. So we're like, we're Rift Wizard, you know, you're trying to be the, the ultimate wizard. This one, you're just trying to be like, I don't know, the ultimate sword and sorcery, Conan the Barbarian, just like world beater. And it's awesome. It's super fun. Um, I still have six. I don't want to spend any more though, because usually the first level is super tame. There's still more dudes. There they are. I'm gonna go up and around. Oh. All right. Cool. So now I'm going to disrobe. We're gonna be a naked ape. <laughs> With um, items we have disrobed, we can sacrifice them, and that will slightly increase our max HP, which is uh, awesome for the build we're trying to do. So let's get this so we can get some more punches in. And all right, we only have three skill points, and let's get this. Um, Entangle is basically gonna like slow stuff down. All right. Hopefully I'm not starting this too lateral, but uh, I guess we'll find out very quickly if this isn't working. You get pretty immediate feedback if, you're, if your build's not going to work in this game. Also, just a note, since I like this, you can change the background color, which, you know, can really suit your own mood. I guess uh, I like the brown background, personally. Um... I'm gonna go straight for another stack of fire. And I'm playing this all with the mouse. I play Rift Wizard exclusively, kind of with the mouse as well, because I'm just that kind of guy. Yeah, you can click on the enemies and get kind of that perfect information just like in Rift Wizard as well uh, which is another reason why I think Rift Wizard players if you haven't played this game would enjoy it um, you can really understand um, the pros and cons of each enemy that you're encountering and each level that you're going into all right I think there is a bag over here no it's everything okay we're just gonna Sacrifice the goods. Alright. Go into the next level. And so now we have kind of like in Rift Wizard, you can do the realm selection. Uh, we can choose our next level and we can get information about who we're going up against to see if it's, uh, you know, going to be okay with our build or not. Um. I'm going to go here since it has more gear that I can sacrifice. Oh, sorry, that scared me. Uh, the wind just slammed my door. Spooky. Alright. Um, let's do willpower because that's going to up how much we heal. So we want to look. I kind of want to try not upgrading strength at all, uh, which last time I invested a decent amount of stats into strength. Um, I don't know if that would be possible or not, just to be a pure dexterity ape. That just sounds fun to me, so. Mask of blood. And we've got like fun Descriptions, a heavy mask containing the spirit of crow worn by a reclusive mage of the Eaton Stars. So we get like this fun flavor text. You can just really imagine this strange, bizarre world that we're questing through. Um, and if you go on the Steam page, um, you can see the dev really knew what he was doing as far as catering to a specific audience. I think 
in the entirety of Early Access, it has like two negative reviews, which is just like... Uh, it really goes to show that like when you make something niche, you know, and find your audience, um, you know, you're going to make people happy. Uh, I'm a little scared to do this one. I have memories of first playing this game and somehow just getting shredded by the Rat King, and I feel like my build is pretty vulnerable right now. So I'm just going to go here. And I'm waiting to get the plus three so I can upgrade my Poogliism, Pugliism stats. Yeah, so these empty tiles are spaces we cannot walk on. I think they're like similar to Chasms in Rift Wizard because projectiles can fling over them. Alright, um, let's go Dex again. Let's get more let's get more punchy. Really love the soundtrack for this game as well. It's got that dungeon synthy vibe that I'm sure most of you nerds love, which I love too. Alright, let's get the loot. Oh, I don't think I sacrificed previous loot. Let's get some more HP. So with the gods that you choose, um, you get some like prayers. So on attack, per fully charged prayer, deal 30 lightning damage in a path. So I've been using this projectile damage just since I am a lone warrior and don't have um, any allies. So this first prayer that I have heals 200 charges, use removes all scorch from yourself, one charge when you enter a new area. Um, my goal is to not use that that often um, because of what this next skill does. Deal 200 and fire in a path to five enemies in a four tile range. Um, and it's gonna... the more nesty prayers I have left, the, the better this will be. So it's like when to pray or not to pray is like depending on the build, like a pretty big decision um, in this game. Um, I don't know this dude. Um, let's go. But again, uh, I just adore the pixel art in this game. It is so... I mean this just strictly as a compliment. Like, it is so goofy. Like, it just has such a unique feeling. There's no way to mistake this game for anything else the second you see a screenshot. And there's just so much character, it's so vibrant. I love how abstract some of these wall tiles are as well. Alright, my health is getting a little lower than I would like. I am. I want to put one in vigor. Let's um, get one more in entangle. So I guess the idea for this build is make me super fast, make everyone else super slow. Who am I missing? That little rascal. like super scary. 50 speed. You know what? I, I don't think we want to go up against a fast dude. Cool. Oh, 
when they're slow. I'm just... Oh no. A little scary. Okay. Um... We're being pretty lateral with these upgrades. Um, the last run, I rolled the dice and got like an upgrade I didn't really need. Um, and my knowledge about all the skills right now is pretty weak, so I'm not even sure like what's the next best thing to get. Um, so I might play it safe, but it would be fun to not do the exact same thing as last time. high fire resist. Let's go here. Um, so I th think it's time to... Oh, not yet. Oof. Uh, let's do one. So here's what this prayer will do. Kind of launches a projectile. I remember that prayer being a little more extreme when I was playing the game, when it first entered early access. Um, don't quote me on this, but I'm assuming it's been rebalanced since the game was first released, but it doesn't seem quite as wild now, which is probably a good thing. Scales off equipped armor and weapons. We don't have anything equipped. It will give us more natural armor. We should probably put a few things in strength. Just to... Just cuz. Um, I wonder if anything else here. Marshall, plus 50 dodge, plus 50 hit. If total weapon size is less than 5, it definitely is. 100% pierce damage against targets that are saving my life. On dodge, perform an act. A number of extra attacks. Okay, we we got to do this since we are leaning deeply into being dexterous. So um, I don't think it cares if we are using weapons. Each point spent in martial grants you one pure slash and blunt resistance. Yeah, and our range is not greater than one for this next one. Yeah, let's get martial next. That could be good. Love how slow these boys are. Great for what I'm trying to do. Oh yeah, that range is four tower range. Okay, I wonder what the range was earlier. Cause I feel like when I was first playing this game, that would just go across the entire screen. But I could be misremembering. I think we're 
getting close to being able to purchase Marshall. So, um, the gear, from what I remember, is, like, super varied and, you know, provides some kind of run-defining changes. Of course, with this specific build, we are just ignoring everything. Um, oof. 25 speed for the Basilisk. A little scared of that, dude. Let's, uh... Let's take it easy. Well, hopefully easy. At least slower enemies. so close to being dead. I think I am gonna heal. Which means we can't blast people as effectively when entering the next realm. Um, I think I will take the coward's path.
So you can see my hit and accuracy are multiplying with um, my inflame. So that's kind of what we're leaning on to get strong, I guess. Dexterity at. So my encumbrance is zero, flexibility, block, dodge. Alright, cool. Oh, yeah, it looks spooky. Scorch to target, Scorch apply two times skill level. Um, let's get one more. Hopefully that wasn't too early for that. Focus on choosing slower enemies, which might be a little reductive, but... Uh, I know this little guy is the... Uh... Discord icon, or at least it was at some point, so maybe there's some s special significance to that little dude. I don't know.
good. That was really rough. skill level. Alright, I think we'll save up. Just one second, just gotta check a weird message.
This is not the end of the game. There is more, so... I'm a little worried. I feel like my overall HP pool is a little low. late game where we can see if this build's actually gonna see us through or not. I'm a little worried with how few points I put into like strength, but whatever. I think we'll I think we'll manage. Let's go here. All right, let's just keep it moving.
where's everybody? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Lonely realm. Two more realms. I'm calling them realms because the Rift Wizard, sorry. Two more stages, levels, battle arenas. scared but it's good to feel afraid for becoming increasingly more silent as this run has progressed. Just getting a little focused and stressed. I have a feeling I'm going to stumble at the finish line with this one. boss and we can't heal. Great.
did it. Cool. And just for kicks, let's put in one more. That's the game. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you have not played Path of Atra, Path of Acra, um, highly recommend it. Super fun. Yeah, if you're into Rift Wizard, obviously you can see how this plays out quite differently than Rift Wizard, but uh, you're doing a lot of the same mental exercises as far as thinking about how synergies and you know builds come together. So um, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one.